Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to convert a website into an Android app using Android Studio. Uh, I will be using Java as backend and uh, there is a library um, uh, which will be used from GitHub and uh, I'll show you how to build um, an app and convert your website into an Android app. So, first of all, I'll show you where, uh, from where you can download this. First, go to www.google.com and search for Android WebView app. So, uh, type in Android WebView app for Android Studio. Save the library into your local computer. I'm saving it in Android projects and let's extract this. Here is the Android app source code. Now let's start the Android Studio app. Here click on new project, uh, sorry open project and go to uh, the folder we, are, we downloaded it. I downloaded it in D, my folder and then Android projects here, Android project master and then here. Okay, it will take some time uh, to download all the required libraries and uh, it will build the Gradle. It will take a couple of minutes or even uh, more minutes. You can check status from here. I already have some uh, recent updates for uh, Android Studio that is why it will not take that much but at least it will take about uh, 5 minutes. Okay, after building the Gradle you can see the, here is the manifest, the man activity and uh, we have the drawable resources. You have this message in village VCS root mapping so click on configure and click on add new and leave as it is and remove the previous one so the error will be removed now close the readme file uh, because i will uh, show uh, how you can change the url step by step so uh, here is the main activity or java open it and scroll down to line number 68 and change this url to the website url uh, which you want to convert into a uh, android app so uh, my website is selfstudyhelp.com and first let me show you how this website looks like on desktop and we will copy this URL and use it on the Android Studio uh, replacing the default URL okay uh, now we will select uh, the emulator and click on play uh, you can go to device manager and add your new emulator uh, let's say i am creating a new device click on create devices and uh, let's say we add pixel 5 and uh, next you will have to choose the ios version sorry the um, android version i only downloaded android 30 and 23 which is marshmallow and r so uh, you can download any of these versions for this device choose the orientation and click on finish now i have two devices i can either open this one nexus s or pixel 5 just click on play button and the app will be loaded It's installing the app on the emulator and 
uh, then it will be started here. Now uh, you can see here is the name my application. Uh, you can change the app name by going to res layout main main um, but i guess here is not uh, turn to code there is no value for that so uh, we will have to go to the values in android manifest you can change the app icon uh, and here is the string in values and strings here you can change the app name let's change it to my web view or uh, let's just change it to self study help let's close it self study help and let's refresh the page uh, sorry the app here uh, all the colors of the website the uh, so the app you can change them here and let's refresh terminate the current process and you will see that the app name is already changed on the Android side. If you go back, uh, then you can see here is self study help. Now, similarly, you can change the icon uh, by adding new resources to uh, the Android app. So uh, you, if you go to uh, new, right click and click on new image assets, and uh, here you can upload your own image and on the browse let's click on the browse where it is here the path browse and here locate your file from where you want to change the icon we have the assets uh, assets folder and i have an app icon already uploaded to the assets let's go to that folder in d drive and then my folder and then android projects then the project folder app src and then res and then drawable and the main icon click on ok and click on next and finish uh, please remember to not use the hyphens or dashes in uh, the file names because it will generate an error so uh, here after uploading all these things you can just uh, build your app using signature or unsigned app to be tested on your devices uh, and you can build your um, app ready uh, build your apk and ready to upload on uh, google console so uh, google app console so uh, this was all for today's video i think uh, this was enough uh, and you learned something from this video please give this video a thumbs up and please my, uh, watch my all other videos like uh, how you can change the splash screen, how you can change the icon, how you can um, upload more assets, um, PDF embed. Um, it's my playlist and here I um, upload all videos regarding Android uh, apps. So uh, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future updates. Thank you.